We are going in. Step back, family. It is the most exciting time for me in the NBA. When this time of year comes around, when big players get to move and make transitions to teams that are either at the top or on the fringe trying to get in, it doesn't get better than this in all the concoctions some of us fans can come back up with. Step back, family. You're looking at the faces, some of the bigger names. There's a lot others out there. You know my man Drummond. You know about Cousins. How about Norm Powell? Norm Powell's in the mix. Kyle Lowry? Yeah, we got to talk about that. Andre Drummond buyout. Aaron Gordon and yeah, Evan Fournier and Bradley Bill are still on that list. Let's walk through a Bleacher Report. I'm going to use them as a segue. We know what has happened with the trade for P.J. Tucker. All right, P.J. Tucker's gone over, made his way over to the Bucks. They lose D.J. Augustine and D.J. Wilson. I'm not sure this is a great move. I'm going to be honest with you. But anyway, I want to move forward and talk about what could happen with these squads as we move through, okay? So here, here it is. Here it is. All right? Victor Oladipo is a guy that's on the fringe block of getting traded, okay? That is a big discussion point for a lot of teams. I told you about Kevin Porter Jr., he was, he's been given the keys and the green light. I'm sorry, Victor. I love you. I think you guys could coexist, but you're very expensive. And with a strong draft coming up, Jalen Green or one of those guys coming in to join Mr. Mr. Porter wouldn't hurt. And they got time, so I can see why they want to move him. Where does he go? For me, it's automatic. It has to be Miami Heat, right? Miami Heat is the perfect squad for Victor Oladipo. That's where he wants to be. They need a, a true starting shooting guard to help out Butler. Butler, Oladipo, that sounds better with Bam. There goes your three-headed monster. Uh, the problem is I heard they're trying to, you know, people are going to ask for Hero, and I don't think they need, he's 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 going to be their sixth man of the year, right? Can't let him go. So that's the issue. Not showing Oladipo, but that is a trade for him. Watch out for that one, okay? Now, there's some other teams <coughs> that are in the mix. I I. I talked about Dallas quietly making some non-moves, but they could make a move. Let's let's look at Dallas in the background there. There are going to be talks of, with everybody on this list. Andre Drummond, okay? Nick's talking about getting Drummond. I don't get it, my friends. I'm sorry, dude. You already got no, – no, well. You got Mitch on the bench, Mitch Robinson. How dare you even look at Drummond? I'm not sure what this does for them. Uh, I think that they should go after Bajinga, that, that guy out of the, well, the Kings. They need a stretch five. They don't have that. Defensively, this is useless. Nerlens and Mitch more than make up for anything that Drummond does, even though Drummond is a double-double king, you know, 20 and 10 all day long. I still think that if you have Nerlens and you have your boy, Mr. Mitch, it's enough. All right. I don't know what this what this what this move is for. Don't know why. It sounds like Thibodeau, more defense. They have it. Stop. All right. Uh, Bazinga, uh, that's a guy that I think should go to the Knicks or somebody like that. There's going to be a lot of teams that are running for him. Stretch five. Uh, I like it. All right. Lowry. Kyle Lowry is probably the biggest talking point. Toronto Raptors know they want to move him. It's a new era. They're not going to win with this team. So they got to make moves. And that old vet that's won him a championship, he got to go. He got to go. So where does he go? <coughs> I like these two teams, except the Heat. Sixers, love it, all right? I love the Sixers play for Mr. Lowry. Who else could use him that's on the fringe, right? And I'm sorry if I got a stuffy nose right now, but who else could use this dude if you're on the fringe? So we know about the Sixers. That's probably the most dynamite position for him. What about Dallas? What about Dallas, guys? I, I talked about needing a true point guard. Could they nab this kid? And get them a true point guard, a tough point guard. They're having issues. Listen, Brunson is a budding, you know, great six man, okay? Just don't see the starter capabilities. Not saying he's not a starter level. Definitely talent wise, he's improved tremendously. But would you choose him over any of De'Aaron Fox? I mean, there's so many big point guards out there. Be tough to put him in that role full time. He's going to kill himself. Aaron Gordon is the biggest next one, right? Denver, 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 great move, all right? They can get Aaron Gordon, makes sense. They lost Jeremy Grant. They, they lost that edge. I think he'll surprise a lot of people. I think he is the most important trade move in this in this week. 
wherever he goes is going to be immediate impact. He has more to give, fresh legs, can shoot the three. Watch out, Aaron Gordon is the biggest pickup and will make some team deadly once he gets on. All right, we talked about the Oladipo movement. We know there's a lot of places he can go. Um, and that's real. That's really it, right? That's really it in a nutshell. There's going to be a lot of small trades on the outside looking in. But big, I know Beal was up top. I doubt they move him, all right? I'm sorry. I doubt they move Beal. I just don't know how they get Beal out of there, right, with that big contract. Who's going to take it? I mean, maybe Miami, but if you got Oladipo there on the cheaper, go to Oladipo. 6'5", can pass the ball a little bit better. I think Oladipo is probably the better move uh, for the Heat versus, you know, versus nabbing somebody. They're going to give the, you know, you're going to have to give up the whole freaking kitchen store and sink with this guy to get, <laughs> to get on the train to possibly nab one of the big guards that, you know, that, 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 that's on, that's on the, uh, on the trade trade block. So um, at the end, at the end of the day, a big to the heat makes sense. And I think that's the only move they should, that's, that's the only move Vic should make for a Vic move. If, if you're going to do it. Um, other than that, we're out of here. Aaron Gordon, I think it's going to make the biggest impact outside of the nuggets. I'm going to, I'm going to ramble a little bit some more outside of the nuggets. Is there another team that needs a small four power four? There's several, there's several. Um, uh, and, and again, opportunity, opportunity wise, he just wants to change from Orlando. Here goes the next team again. I, I guess I, I'm going too deep. I mentioned Denver. What about what about the freaking Dallas Mavericks? I'm sorry. I got to keep going there. They're a team that needs a little bit of athleticism. They need a guard. They need. A, I told you they need another small forward. Could this work? think so. I think so. Three-headed monster. Doncic, Porzingis, and Aaron. Whew. I like this. They just need another guard, and they can probably pick somebody up in the G League. The most deadly teams right now are ones that are going to get the buyouts of Drummond, buyouts of LaMarcus Aldridge because they cannot be able to trade them, and then making the trades for these guys uh, such as Fournier and Gordon. I don't know if Bill gets moved. I'm going to sign off here. Big, big day today. 25th, tomorrow it's over. Trades, trades, trades. We shall see. Step back, kids. I'm out of here. Peace.